9 Jobs That Can Make You Rich The numbers might dramatically differ in your geography. Take note the currency we will use is in dollars. By the way, welcome to Ricky Avellino YouTube channel. Enjoy watching while learning. Number 1. Plastic Surgeon and Specialized Doctors Salary of Plastic Surgeons, $250,000 and up per year. Highest Paid Doctors, Radiologists, Cardiologists and Orthopedic Surgeons. Average $400,000 per year. As you'd expect, neurosurgeons, the brain doctors, also get paid close to $400,000 per year. So why mention plastic surgeons before them? Because it's a lot more lucrative and profitable these days. Plastic surgery is everywhere. More than $16 billion were spent on adjustments last year and it's growing year by year, especially in the age of social media. It's one of those specializations that it's easiest to get into from the medical field. And you bet that clients keep on coming. Number 2. Corporate Lawyer. Salary. $200,000 and up per year. If you're good, you can be a millionaire five years into your corporate job. All you need is to be productive for the corporation you work for. Out of all the specializations here are the three most lucrative, mergers and acquisitions, intellectual property and patent lawyers. Basically, you need to be a lawyer for a large financial or tech company. The higher the value you can bring to them or save them from having to pay, the higher your salary. In big cases it's not uncommon to get a single payout over 1 million if the case is won. Number 3. Pilots and Air Traffic Control. Average salary, $100,000 per year. Average time to $1 million, less than 10 years. A good pilot earns on average in excess of $300 per hour while in low-paying pilot brings home over $200. Pilots still get paid good money in an age where they no longer have to do that much. The big surprise for us was air traffic controllers, who earn even more than pilots at an average of $130,000 per year and out of everything on this list. It's probably the second easiest to get into. Number 4. Insurance Agent. Average Earnings, $100,000 per year. The compensations of an insurance agent depends on the company and the country where you practice your license. This job has the lowest paying if you're lazy but has the highest earning potential if you are hardworking and effective. You should be consistent and has a good name that they can trust. Insurance agents also has their time freedom. Having an insurance agency can give you $350,000 and up per year. Number 5. Architect. Average salary, $100,000. Good architects earn over $250,000 per year. Real estate is booming, always has, always will, with bigger and bigger projects undertaken by developers, companies and even cities. A single big project can earn you that seven-figure income you're looking for. But unless you're already established in the marketplace, you're unlikely to get it. As with most of the jobs mentioned on this list, because the reward is so big, the competition at the top is fierce. Number 6. Cybersecurity. Application Security Engineer. $250,000 per year. Everybody else. Around $100,000 per year. We're living in the most connected time in history, everything about you that makes you. You is online. Which means, there's a lot of money to be taken out of the system. Last year, the personal data of over 140 million Americans was stolen from a credit score company called Equifax. Names, addresses, social security numbers, banking information, everything you would need to steal someone's identity. Big tech companies would not recover after a breach like that. So they're paying really good money to anyone who can bulletproof their tech. The same goes with big pharma companies as well as anything that has to do with intellectual property, patents, research and development. A hack could cost the company billions. Even at an individual level it's never been more important than now to protect your information. We've seen worldwide debates about how much info companies like Google and Facebook have on you and how easy it is to manipulate public opinion. Hackers rely on easy targets, especially if you're traveling a lot, everything you do online can be monitored and stolen, that's why we had to do something about it. We reached out to the company we personally use, NordVPN and negotiated the best deal for personal cybersecurity you can get right now. Number 7. Marketing Managers. Average Salary. $150,000 per year. Chief Marketing Officer. Over $250,000. Everywhere you look you see billboards and advertising. We live in such a crowded advertising time that it's harder and harder to stand out. A great marketing executive can make or break a great company. Just look at the rise of Old Spice. The company raised from the ashes through a smart marketing campaign. A 75-year-old company, more than doubles sales in a single year. 
But marketing isn't all just about advertising, it's about the way the product is designed, the way people perceive it, the way it fits in the market and how it differentiates from the competitors. A typical marketing director for companies like Pepsi or Coke earn ballpark of $250,000 per year. Number 8. High-End Sales Average Salary $200,000 If you can sell, you'll do great anywhere. A good salesperson will always find work, but this is not about that. It's about those who are really good at what they do and they choose to move towards high-ticket items. Why bother selling cars in a dealership when you could be selling property in Monaco? The per cent might be smaller, but the pie is definitely bigger. In order to keep things accessible, we will not look at the fringe cases, but focus on the top 20%. Here's how much you can earn if you know what you're doing. Real estate sales. Over $250,000 per year. Pharmaceutical sales. Over $200,000 per year. Software sales. Over $150,000 per year. Master two or three of that list and you should be well off. Number 9. Software Developer Average Salary $150,000 Stock on the company We feel like the age of startups has cooled down a bit. Just a few years ago everywhere you looked someone was starting a company, they've all failed and got back to working corporate jobs now. But that period put the emphasis of just how valuable someone who can make things happen actually is, after all, Jobs wouldn't have been jobs without Wozniak. Software developers have a unique advantage where they can ask for a percentage of the company in exchange for their services. If the company does well, the developer gets rich in the process. For more videos like this, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, click subscribe and the bell button to be notified. You can write your comment down for any questions, reactions or suggestions for more videos as well.